Hi everyone, uh, my name is Harit Lelada. I'm an aerothermodynamicist. I work in F1 for about seven years and I'm here with Jenny. Hi everyone, I'm Jenny. I'm an operations performance engineer and I work in the engineering performance and reliability department. What inspired you to join a sort of STEM subject or engineering background? I think that I was just better at maths and physics in school, so I had a natural interest more towards those subjects rather than other ones. I studied mechanical engineering. I did a PhD in high-speed flows, and that's how I started. So it was not just F1, it was many different uh, engineering sectors that I would be interested in. But I think F1 is probably one of the most interesting things that an engineer can do, of course. And how about you? Um, well, for me, I was always a massive fan of Formula One. So eventually I found that I was more drawn towards the technology and innovation side. And so that's why I ended up studying mechanical engineering. And then I did uh, motorsport engineering management. Yeah, now I'm doing what I'm doing. What STEM skills and uh, soft skills do you think are needed for our roles? I do need some uh, core science, scientific subjects like maths and physics. They help me a lot from day to day in order to be able to do my job. But at the same time, we're working in F1. Being a good team player is more important here than probably anywhere else. If one you know, element of the chain breaks, the whole team collapses, so. I mean, I agree. I think one of the reasons why I joined F1 was because I realized that you have a team of people all come together with different core competencies. It's a little bit like a jigsaw puzzle, you know, all the bits of jigsaw puzzle come together to create what we need. Also the soft skills like teamwork and collaboration, critical thinking, these are also very, very important. I think also initiatives like STEM are helping to bring more visibility to the world that we work in and you know the, the number of women that work in engineering and Formula One is still quite a small percentage but the numbers are growing and I think this visibility is, is allowing people to, to see what it's really like rather than basing it on perception. I absolutely agree. I think that STEM, it's not just something that, you know, it's good and useful for a career path. I think that these are skills that you're going to use on everyday life in order to be able to understand things better, to understand your environment better, basically to, to have a better grip in life. Thanks guys for joining. Uh, I hope we answered some of your questions. And of course, if you have any more, I hope that we can join you again soon to answer those. <laughs>